Okay, everybody, welcome back to Learn with Minecraft Education. Today, we are going to be looking at the Adventures in English Part 2. We did Part 1 a couple of weeks ago, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, there's a lot more to this that we haven't explored yet. We've got the worksheet with us, and we're going to go through the answers. So let's dive in and take a look at this together. All right, so last time we made our way, we spelt the word on the floor, we spelt adventure on the floor, we made our way down into this little library it's area. Terrible. And Lilac is saying, books. it's terrible, my oh book, my someone God. stole my book. And it we've is. got the page for her, page. this next book, so we're going to see oh, what happens with our adventure. She's still got that cup of coffee uh, that we got for her from the vending machine. Is that it. is it, the book of treasures. Book. So this is what the page is missing from, so we're going to put our um, missing page into this book and we want to have a look at chapter one, let's do it in order. Thirsty work. The people of Treasure Island are thirsty. We need to help return water to the well. So we click, let's go. One well, of these awesome, like little animated cutscenes that I haven't seen in any of the levels before. Really enjoy them. And one thing I did, uh, didn't do in the last video, I didn't record the audio uh, for the last video because it usually doesn't matter too much. But in this one, all of the characters have recorded audio dialogues. You can listen to them talk, which is. Again, I've never seen any of the lessons included on Minecraft Education do that before. That's probably why this lesson comes with a big download when you when you are going to lessons and download it. Now you can see the cutscenes are a little bit uh, jerky at times, um, and they are. It seemed to be on every computer I tried it on. They're a little bit jerky, but I think they're cool still, nonetheless. So um, here we are in the first chapter, and um, Lilac is going to jump in and explain to us. Uh, what's going on? You're inside the book. We are inside the book. That's cool, isn't it? This will be an adventure for the assistant to help the people in the book. So we've got to help them out. And um, the first question on our worksheet is coming up soon. So let's go forward and have a chat with the villagers. Where is the water? They've got a problem with water. We need to talk to Elliot. This guy's Elliot. And here's the first question on our sheet. We've got there is no something in the village. So the idea, guys, is that you do this level with the sheet next to you and you fill in uh, the sheet as you go. So there's no something in the village. That's a pretty easy one, isn't it? Water. So we're going to jot down on our sheet. Water. There's no water in the village. And um, we're going to follow Elliot here up Look, to the source of the river, the river uh, because he knows why the river is dry. So let's shoot on up. He's telling us hurry to hurry up. up. He's not exactly going fast himself, but let's follow him. And we're going to climb up these vines and head up to the source of this river. We have to climb up these Thank vines. you, Elliot. Let's head up, up there the then. Off we go. Uh, now this, this lesson uh, I've condensed down to about, I don't know how long this video is, 17, 18 minutes. Uh, it took me a little while, it took like an hour. It is a long lesson, especially if you're filling in the sheet and stopping and talking to everyone. Uh, it's not always obvious where to go, so hopefully this little walk through guide is helpful for some of you. So we're going we're gonna to wait for Elliot to catch us up. Look at and uh, everything is white I up there. Know. There's some kind of problem. The, the river, river is broken. I don't know if it's snow or ice or there's some reason, but you can see the water, where the water was. Elliot tells you how to something the captain, the pirate captain. Um, I'm going to put find in there because he, he does tell us how to find it. And we give a little tick next to the go past the well box. So it's kind of like a comprehension, this. You go through the lesson and they need to be aware of what the next question is so that when they get to it, they can fill it in. Let's speed things up a bit. Let's zip through here uh, to the bridge. And we've got Charlie who says, uh, stop. stop. And he is, Charlie is the uh, something for the bridge. And I think the answer is guard. He's the guard for the bridge. The Straighten up my camera village. a bit. I'm a bit off filter here. There we go. Charlie is the guard the for the bridge. Nice oh. And he doesn't want to let you us over go. the bridge yet uh, because he wants us to grab a Wait. fishing Before rod you go. or make a fishing rod. I so he's, um, he's just got a stick at the moment and he can't do much with that. I can't catch so by helping Charlie... We can progress through the level, so I think we'd better do it. So let's um, let's turn around, go back into the village. We've just got a stick. We can't do anything with this. No, we haven't got a fishing rod. Right, so let's turn around. Uh, we need to find Cora. Um, let's zip ahead a little bit. This is uh, taking me a while. It's okay. Right, so 
Cora's over here. There's a shop. Hello, Cora. I'm busy. I'm yes, very we need a fishing rod, Cora, for Charlie. I need some string and some stick. That's not enough. All right, so we need three we sticks need and three two bits of string. So then she sends us on our way, and you can find some of that in the basement. basement. So off we go. You can find. Zip down here. Speed this up a bit. Go through the chests. There are the sticks. And there are the strings. Anything else in here? No, they're all empty. And uh, she tells us Have you got uh, when we tell her that we've got the stuff. Great. Uh, use the crafting use table. The follow crafting the recipe table. for the fishing rods. So uh, fishing rod on the left here. Sticks going across. And yeah, we can fill in the sheet now too. So we make our fishing rod. Cora helps you make a fishing rod for Charlie. The missing word there is fishing. So we fill that in and we're about halfway through our worksheets now. Well, well done, done, happy fishing. Happy right, let's fishing. hot foot it back to Charlie. His name is Charlie, isn't it? Yeah, Charlie is this guy. Is that He's very pleased with his fishing rod, oh, as you would expect. It's beautiful. Okay, right, so we can go now over the bridge and we have to spell out a word. B R. Let's walk across. What does it spell? B R. Oh, okay. We don't walk in a straight line. We need to we need to spell out bridge. That makes sense. Silly me. And we'll go over there's another page here. This will be for the next bit of book when we finish this level, I imagine. Another awesome cutscene, which is going to take us to, where's the page going? It's going down some steps. I think it's going to a beach, because I can see this, the worksheet and the next set of questions are about a beach. Now, we are meeting a pirate, so a beach would make sense. Yeah, there we go, there's the water. And uh, here we are down at the beach. Pick up the page, keep that for later on, and head down. We found another page. Uh, we'll keep it safe for now. Page. Okay, lilac. All right, let's zip through all of this. Let's get a move on and get to the get to the next part. This person, Monica, is not happy with us because we shouldn't be on the beach. No running. Fine. Um, we're going to miss out talking to those people. There is a, a section on the worksheet. You can talk to the people on the beach and um, fill in some questions, but we're going we're gonna to get a move on. So if you want to do those questions, you can. You don't need them to finish the worksheets. They're like extras. So Bruce tells us the cave is dangerous. It's been an earthquake, and um, he's going to lead, uh, lead us off now. Uh, let's speed things up, because Bruce is incredibly slow at walking. Okay, Bruce leads us over to Tony. All right, let's talk to Tony. This way is for mining experts. Can you mine and build things? Yeah. Uh, we need a helmet if we're mining, so we're going to answer his questions. Just some vocabulary here from Tony. That's fine. You can go into the mine now. And we need a pickaxe to do a bit of mining. So let's go into the lift. Let's speed things up a bit again because the lift took a while moving. So I'll speed this up for us. Right, Steve is here. And I remember seeing Steve's name on the worksheet. So we must have a question coming up soon. Pickaxe, we're going to take his pickaxe because he can't work. And uh, the question on the sheet here, in the cave, Steve tells you to do all his work. And you see that um, character there with the 64 under it. We use that later to spell out a phrase. So we're going to use our radio. Testing. And we're going to be in communication with Steve. We're going to make our way through the maze. We're going to be collecting letters and finding our way through the caves here and solving a puzzle at the end uh, because uh, that is going to lead us to this pirate captain, this elusive pirate captain that can actually help us fix the river. He knows about the water. Let's not forget what we're actually trying to do. We're trying to fix this river, aren't we? So down we go. We've got another coin in case we need to pop the coins in the box for hints. Uh, we don't need the hints, I don't think, do we? It's not too difficult, is it? So we're zipping our way around this cave. We're listening to Steve on his radio. He's guiding us in the right direction. He actually tells us go across the water and so on. And uh, we're going to mine through here. 
getting pretty deep. Uh, which is fine. Let's keep going. Can you hear me? I can't. I can't. Not really sure. There's a lot of options. I don't know if it matters which one we choose. I think it just gives us the same answer either way. Uh, but we need to find nine letters, and the first three are in this little area just here. And then, where's the third one? Oh, crikey, let's use a hint actually. P, U and E are near here. Right, so let's keep looking. Got P and E, there's, there's you. Awesome, let's bash through here because it's said to follow the mushrooms. Oh, another bridge. What have we got to spell out? T, R, E, A. Treasure, surely. E, A, S, U, R, E spells treasure, yeah. Um, that was not a question on the sheet, it's just a little extra. So we'll get the T, we'll get the H from here, and we will get, uh, there's a third letter up there somewhere. There's an I. There it is. All right, so time to, oh, there's an S here. Two more. Let's jump over here up the ladder, there's, uh, what's that, an L? Cool. I think that's the last one. So let's zip ahead, let's fast forward through this because we have to go climb back up to the um, puzzle. Uh, please use the exit. I did skip ahead a little bit there because it's quite self-explanatory, but it takes a long time. So now a minecart comes down. Let's hop in the minecart and that should take us back up to our pirate. Um, who's called Pirate Gary, according to the worksheet. So I'm sure we're all looking forward to meeting Pirate Gary, who's going to help us out fixing the river. Um, we're getting our worksheet filled in. We're most of the way through that now. Uh, the next question is, Pirate Gary doesn't want you to know his something. Oh, I wonder what that could be. So uh, we're going to take a little boat over, speed things up here. Carol is uh, giving us some hints here. Peter's there. I'm not really sure what they're on about, to be honest. And then here's Gary. Awesome. Another little cutscene, and um, we have found the pirate captain, Gary. And he's asking us to come up onto his ship. So let's head up there and find out what he doesn't want us to know so we can fill in our worksheet. Up we go up the ladder. And uh, Gary, what's going on? Welcome aboard my ship, matey. Mm -hmm. Can I help you? Um, pirate question mark? No, captain. Yeah. Uh, yes, I'm That's Gary, the pirate right. captain. We want to know about water, don't we? What's going yeah. on with the river? I know a lot. Aha! I see the problem. Yeah. Okay, so there's an earthquake. It's the earthquake. Gary seems to know the how earth. we can fix. Yeah. Something the river, sort out some water to get that back, that would be good. So let's have a go. Um, you'll never, you'll guess never guess my password to the shovel shed, so we need a shovel. And Gary doesn't want us to know his, there's the word, password, so we can fill in P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. And we get this awesome cutscene. Once we've got his shovel, we've taken his shovel out of his... Um, Living quarters, I don't know what the word is. And uh, yeah, it's going to show us hopefully where we need to dig. So we're back over looking at the beach where we came from. And it's going to be a classic called uh, X marks the spot. So then we need to shoot over there and do a bit of digging. Don't know what we're going to find, but that's fine. Probably more letters. We always seem to be looking for letters. Right then, Gary, how are we going to get over there? Yes. Go get me the treasure. Okay, so we've got the shovel. Back down here. Let's speed this up. Over in the boat. Do -do -do. Right, diggy dig down here. You dig the sand with a what? Um, well, for those students that were concentrating, we dig the sand with a shovel. So we'll pop shovel in there. We're nearly at the end of the worksheet. We must be near the end now, everyone. We're getting close to the end of this level. Um, right, so we've got the treasure, which was the letter X, as we thought it might have been. He's asking us to climb into a cannon, which sounds fine. Let's do that. 
and it's going to blast us um, hopefully back up near the river because I don't want to have to walk back up there again. That's pretty cool. Nice, another cool cutscene. We're just getting blasted out of a cannon. And where's it going to... Yes, we're up by the river. Awesome. Right, let's speed this bit up and find out what's going on. Wow, that was amazing. That was it was just a cannon, amazing. Elliot. Amazing. Nothing special. Did he know what to do? Um, it's a piece of the puzzle. It is a piece and Elliot's saying puzzle. he can't walk on white ground. Who knows why? So, we've got our X to put in the puzzle. Which I think is going to go there. I think I think we're going to fill this in with um, fix the river. Get the T. The. We need I and R. Uh, where's this last piece? Uh, so, ah, there it is, V. Pop the V in there. Boom. Trophy collected river hero. Complete the book of treasure chapter one. Well, we did it. And we can fill in the last bit of our sheet. You fix the river in the village. Awesome. Look at that. So the river's working again. Or it is a river now. It just wasn't a river before. I guess the well is full. And the people in this chapter of our book are all happy. We've sorted them out with some water. And we're going to shoot back up now uh, to the library where Lilac is. Hopefully she'll be pleased with our progress. We didn't talk to everyone on the beach and I think we would have gotten a trophy for that. There's gonna be a trophy missing. So if you are you. Um, a completionist, the then make sure you the chat village. to the people on the beach. Uh, but in the interest of getting through this, I probably went a little bit quicker and missed that out. Um, so uh, let's um, look at this completed sheet. The water's back in the village, you saved us. Thank you, Elliot. Please come Please back again come soon. Let's return to the library, good. So we're gonna shoot back up to the library now. Lilac is going to be there waiting for us. Another cutscene. That was kind of epic. That was a lot longer than the first lesson, just getting into the library. That, that was pretty quick, really. This one was quite long. Um, so what's Lilac gonna to have to say? Uh, she'll hopefully be pleased with us. Well, you fixed the river in the village. Well, we found the second page. So we can hopefully do chapter two. Oh no, we need to do chapter two in this book. And it, there's a different book. There are trophies over there. And as you can see, we are missing a trophy because we didn't, we didn't do fun on the beach. Actually, that is annoying. Might have to go back and do that. Here's the sheet. So that's the sheet there. You can link in the description if you want to print that off and use it with your students. Um, there's actually a bit missing. At the bottom of my sheet, it says, Lila thinks you are a great assistant, but you are not. And if we take the different answers and the numbers from underneath and fill that in, it should say the first one. Um, so Lila thinks you're a great assistant, but you're not the first one. So certainly it's implying that there was another assistant at some point. And I guess we will find out what happened to that other assistant. And uh, isn't this lesson full of mystery and intrigue? I can't wait to find out what happens next. Um, now, in a few weeks' time, I will be back with another video. We'll do the next part of this lesson. It was fun. Quite a long one, that one. Uh, but cool working through it, filling in the sheet, and uh, showing students would enjoy it too. Um, all the links to today's world file, um, the worksheets that you can download, they're all going to be in the description. So check that out if you liked it and want to do it with your class. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a like because it helps with the algorithm. And do subscribe to my channel because that helps with the algorithm too. And we want to please the algorithm uh, to do well. Right, uh, I will see you all. Uh, later on in the week, take care.